As you can see, the sunset was fabulous last night. Well worth waiting for. When I did a sunset in San Diego, it was all over in a matter of, oh gosh, barely five minutes uh, because of the um, location. Uh, where I live near the coast, uh, uh, further north, um, that lasts for about, oh I say, 20, maybe 30 minutes. Last night it was, oh gosh, close to an hour, it was about 50, 45, 50 minutes, maybe a bit, a bit longer. First we had the sun uh, setting um, behind blue clouds, had a nice color. Then it started take, uh, taking on a nice golden color, still with a little bit of blue clouds. Uh, and then we had a transition to the traditional golden sunset. Um, I hung around a bit longer because um, I like to um, see what happens with the uh, colors. And boy, I was uh, in for a nice treat because then we had uh, uh, purples and then dark purples. That was probably about the most uh, amazing sunset I think I've ever seen with respect to all the different transitions and all the colors all in one evening. Quite remarkable in terms of colors. Today, um, I'm just going to explore and I'll take you along for the ride. Okay, I'm going to finish my drink and then uh, go out there and let's go have some fun. Okay. It's about a 20 minute drive to where I'm going. This should have the uh, nice color I'm looking for. I'm on the other side of the lake from where I was staying. Actually, I was staying uh, a bit north of the lake and had to drive down and then had to take a, quite a big detour to get across the lake. And I'm making my way to the uh, location that I've chosen. And if all goes well, this should have um, the color in the trees that I'm looking for. Uh, fingers crossed. But if nothing else, I have a nice scenic drive. I just had a nice view of the lake on my left. Um, fortunately, um, you don't have the view right now, but um, boy, this drought that we're having still, the, the lake has really shrunk back. It's quite unfortunate. But this is a nice drive along here. That's the trail I'm on. And I have just paused to take in this wonderful view. Who wouldn't? And uh, after this brief little rest, I'm now going to continue and continue on the trail in this direction. Here we go. I'm set up here for a, a little tree I've isolated. Um, it's catching a bit of light, side light. Um, I'm going to see, I've got the polarizer on my lens. And I'm going to see if I can, uh, the wide angle actually didn't work. It was, um, it was a bit too busy. There's a drop off here. I can't go to the left, unfortunately. Um, let me show you my setup here. So I've got it in uh, portrait mode. I'm going to do my best to isolate that. And uh, I'm not sure how it's going to come out. But anyway, I'm trying to use every opportunity I can. I 
if it comes out okay, you'll see it. So that's the one I'm trying right now. It, uh, it's quite nice up through here. And it's very, very quiet. Oh, I'm hearing a bird up above me. You know what, I'm gonna take my shot and see if I can figure out what bird it is. Oh, I see him. Oh, I've got to go. I've got to take, get this bird. Oh my gosh, I have to get that bird. But I think he just went across to another tree. I'm going to sit on a rock. Let him get used to my presence. Bird again, beautiful blue plumage. He just burst up, he just flew across to the other tree. Oh, there he goes. He's just over that rise. I've been hiking for about two hours now, actually more than that, about two and a half maybe. Gained quite a bit of elevation, stopped quite a few times along the way to take pictures. Uh, I just stopped off at this uh, spot right here. Uh, there's a couple of trees lit up uh, with the sun. I'm losing the best of light, but I'm trying to find some uh, points of interest where there's some shade and some trees lit up with the sun. I uh, have the tripod set up quite low here um, in fact, let me uh, give you uh, the view of where I am. You can see the tripod set up quite low. Um, I've got those two logs right there acting as a V leading up to uh, those trees lit up in the sun. And I'm hoping that the rest of the trees in the shadow will create some interest. Um, I put my polarizer on, I put it on forward and I turned it back about a quarter to a third. So let's check my settings right here now. So I'm uh, f11, um, 1 40th of a second, but I'm going to try one at f14. But uh, let me take one right now. I've already got it uh, focused, so I'm going to take one right now and see how that came out. And I had to focus, I had to um, zoom in a little bit. Um, let's see, I was at a little over 24 millimeters um, because there was a, it's kind of busy on either side. I'm trying to isolate some of that uh, busyness right there. So. Go ahead and adjust my exposure for F14. Let's see, I'm gonna focus about a third of the way in, just past those logs right there. Adjust my exposure. 
All right. And uh, here we go. See how that came out. Okay, so we're going to try our long lens to isolate the trees. That looks good. I think there's one on the right there I want to use because that's a bit darker. And get in. Not, I don't want the uh, logs. And that looks good. I'll have to back up my back off my exposure a little bit. And so here we go. And I want to focus a little bit lower. And let's go a bit to the right there so I can pull out. We have a winner. That's great. I think that worked. I just took a tumble. Not too bad. Put my hand out to stop myself. No major injuries. I'm just gonna sit here and rest for a minute. Been hiking for a long time. Whew. Maybe I'm getting tired, who knows. Before leaving Big Bear, I just could not resist stopping off one more time to look at the lake and doing a panorama. So that's it for this trip. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. See you all soon. Take care.